Hi guys, welcome back to Nairobi Legal. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the distinction between a trademark and copyrights. Remember that trademarks and copyrights fall under intellectual property, but these two terms are very different and they protect completely different things. Just to give you a background on what intellectual property law in Kenya is, we have previously done videos on copyrights law in Kenya and we have also done a video on trademark law in Kenya. So please consider going back to watch those videos so that you understand where we come from before we go into the distinctions between a trademark and a copyright in Kenya. Also remember, if you are a new person to Nairobi Legal, please consider subscribing so that you receive notifications each and every single time we post a video as far as intellectual property law in Kenya is concerned. Trademarks and copyrights fall under intellectual property, but these two terms are completely different and they protect different things. Now, to begin with trademarks, as you can already see, a trademark is a distinctive sign that actually identifies goods or services produced by a particular company. Remember here, the value is that you are able to tell the origin of that good because of that distinctive sign attached to it. So if it's a Fanta soda, you know that that Fanta soda is manufactured by a particular company. You can't confuse that particular soda with a soda of a different manufacturer thanks to trademarks. Number two, when these trademarks are put on these products, they make it easier for consumers to quickly identify the source of a given good. An example would be a Coca-Cola. You can't confuse a Coca-Cola for any other soda because it has the word Coca-Cola. That is a trademark. That is a unique symbol that is distinctive, that makes it different from other sodas manufactured by other companies. The other thing you need to appreciate is that trademarks uh, do not necessarily have to be on physical products. Uh, we have services like M-Pesa. M-Pesa is not a physical product. It's a service. And so that is what we call a service mark. So if you're providing a service, that service can also have a mark, that unique mark that makes one service different from the other, that unique mark that makes someone remember or know or associate that this particular service is from this specific company and not that one. So this is the distinction and the overview of what a trademark is. On the other side, when we talk about copyrights, remember that uh, as far as copyrights are concerned, what we mean here is that these are laws that, that actually protect literally and artistic creations. And artistic creations and literary work could range from poems, uh, plays, um, computer programs, music, paintings, drawings. Actually, when you read uh, through section 2, of the Copyright Act of Kenya, you're able to know what things are protected by a copyright law in Kenya. So we need to understand and appreciate that um, as far as copyrights are concerned, here we are talking about things such as literally or artistic creations, uh, music, um, drawings, and all other things. And also when we talk about copyrights, these are works that have been created by musicians, and actors and even the performances that are done can be copyrighted sound recordings when you go to record a song in a studio that is subject to copyright protection the other thing is that when we talk about media houses that project their programs or broadcast uh, their shows those shows are protected by copyright meaning that you can't actually just go use those uh, shows or broadcasted programs on your stations without asking for authorization from the original owner of the a specific copyright. So this is also, I think you're beginning to see the distinction between a trademark and a copyright. These two things are very different. And while the trademarks are protected under the Trademark Act of Kenya, we have the Copyright Act of Kenya that looks at literally and artistic creations. The next thing we need to understand is that trademarks target consumers and by targeting consumers, trademarks are able to help consumers to actually distinguish or identify the source of a particular product. So if it's a Nike shoe or Adidas, 
a consumer can know that I'm buying a Nike shoe and not Adidas. So that confusion is not there. And the overall essence of having a trademark is that it will help a consumer to distinguish one product from someone else's a product. If you walk into a Safaricom shop, you can tell this is a Safaricom shop because of the word Safaricom. That is a trademark. Airtel is also a trademark. If you want to walk into ABSA Bank, ABSA is a trademark. If it's standard chartered, standard chartered, that word yeah, is a trademark. Remember that these trademarks are very important and they can be used as marketing tools, meaning that companies no longer actually have to go prove who they are. But because of that particular trademark that has been marketed and people associate that trademark with particular value, then they will forever look out for either that particular product or service. This is the essence of a trademark. Basically, you can easily identify products as a consumer because of the trademark that a manufacturer has used. On the other side, when we talk about copyrights, copyrights focus mainly on artistic and literary work. And you've already given the examples. And if you want to understand um, how does a person come to own a copyright, what are the requirements, please refer back to our previous videos we made on copyright law in Kenya. Now, when you become a copyright holder, you have exclusive rights uh, to your work, meaning that no one can reproduce your work, no one can broadcast your work, and no one can translate your work. When we talk about reproduction, if you've, if you've made a song, yeah, and maybe it's on a CD, no one can go and reproduce those CDs for sale. If it's a book you've written, no one can actually buy one copy, photocopy several copies, and go ahead to sell them. That is not allowed because reproduction is a right that is exclusively um, held by the copyright owner. When it comes to broadcasting, media houses broadcast their programs on TV. No one can actually uplift that program and broadcast it without authorization from the original copyright owner. When it comes uh, to issues of translation, translation would be that if an, a novel has been written in Kikuyu, no one can come and interpret that Kikuyu language and come up with an English novel. There has to be permission granted before you translate a copyrighted piece of work which could be a book into another language. And also when it comes to adaptation, you can't simply read an interesting novel and out of it with your friends you act a movie based on the novel. You need a, the permission of the copyright owner. These are the rights that copyright grants to the copyright owners and these rights as you can already see are completely different from what trademarks look like. The overall objective of trademarks is to help consumers uh, distinguish the source of goods of a particular manufacturer from another manufacturer while you can see already that copyrights focus on artistic and literary work. Remember to subscribe to Nairobi Legal and turn on the notification button so that you receive notifications every single time we post a new video. You can also follow us on our Twitter page for active engagement and for more interesting conversations on matters intellectual property please refer back to our previous videos on copyright law in Kenya and trademark and more videos to come. Thank you.